Hey everyone, welcome back to the Schwab tutorial series. In today's video, we're going to learn how to place OCO bracket orders on the Street Smart Edge trading platform. Now, you guys may also know this as a take profit and stop loss order or a one cancels the other order, but it's all the same thing. You'll be able to use this as a very simple way to automate some of your trading. Creating an order ticket to close you out of your position if things ever go against you, while also placing an order to close you out if you ever hit your profit target. So two separate orders working simultaneously, and then whichever one of those two orders fills first, the other order is automatically canceled. So basically, you've got protection on one side and a profit taking order on the other side. Now in today's video, we're going to be going through two separate examples. First on a position you already hold in the account, and then secondly on a brand new position that we haven't even bought yet. Now, starting with that very first example, you can see I already have the Street Smart Edge trading platform pulled up, and at the moment I've got the trade page selected. For this very first example, we're going to be placing a bracket order on a position we already hold in the account. Now, looking down towards the bottom of the screen, you can see my account detail section right there, and at the moment I've got the positions tab highlighted. So looking right there, you can see I've got a position on SoFi. At the moment, I've got one share of stock, and that stock is currently trading for $9.97 a share. If we wanted to place a bracket order on SoFi, all we would have to do is come down here to the symbol and go ahead and right click on it. As soon as we do that, you're gonna see a little menu come up with a whole bunch of different options, but we're gonna focus on the top of this drop down menu. Right there, you can see the very first option is just to outright close our SoFi position. That would be if we just wanted to sell our share of SoFi. We wanted to place a market order or a limit order. We just wanted to sell it. In our case, we didn't want to do that. We actually want to place a bracket order. So we're going to look down just below that and then select add brackets to SoFi. As soon as we click on that, you're going to see a little menu come up and it's kind of broken out into two separate sections. The first section up at the top broken out in white, this is kind of based off of where you want to base your stop and your limit price. In our case, we're going to set actual specific price targets, so I'm going to ignore this top section for right now. Looking down below that, and we can see the gray section right here, the first question it's going to ask us is how many shares of SoFi did we want to sell? In my case, I only have one share of SoFi, so I'm going to come over here to this box that says zero, I'm going to highlight it and type in one in there. Now that we got the quantity box knocked out, the next thing it's going to ask us is what is our profit target on SoFi? So right here you can see profit exit and there's a little check mark box next to it. We're going to go ahead and select that. And now the next thing I need to do is actually specify the price I wanted to sell SoFi at. So we're going to come over here to where it says points. I'm going to click on that and change this to price. Now price simply means that we've got a specific price target in mind. I'm saying I want to sell these shares of SoFi if SoFi ever hits, let's say $12 a share. So coming right here where it says 0.00, .00 I'm going to go ahead and highlight that and type in 12 right there. Now that we've got the profit target set, the next thing we need to do is set the other side of the bracket, the stop loss target. Now looking right there, you can see we've got two separate stops available to us, either a trailing stop or a stop loss order. Now in this first example, we're just going to set a regular stop loss, so I'm going to go ahead and click on stop loss right here. And keep in mind that this is more of like a stop market order meaning we're going to set our activation price, the price at which we would want to get out of SoFi, and as soon as that is activated, a market order would go out there to sell this position. So let's say in this example, I wanted to get stopped out if SoFi ever dropped below 7 bucks a share. So once again, I'm going to come over here to the word points, I'm going to click on that. I'm going to look down below in the drop down menu and select price. Now that we've got that selected, I'll go ahead and highlight 0.00, .00 here, and I'm going to go ahead and type in 7. And that's it. Right there, you can see what I'm essentially saying is I want to sell this one share of SoFi if it ever hits 12 bucks. But also, if things go against me and SoFi starts to drop, get me out if it ever drops down to 7 bucks a share. Now, since this is a bracket order or a one cancels the other order, whichever one of those sell orders fills first, the other order is automatically going to be canceled. So, for example, if SoFi goes up and it hits $12 a share, I'm going to sell my one share of SoFi and then the stop is going to be canceled. If SoFi instead goes against me and it drops down to 7, my stop activates, I sell my share at 7, my limit order at 12 is going to be cancelled. So again, that's the whole point of this trade. It's a bracket order. Whichever order fills first, the other one is automatically cancelled. Now, if I was happy with this order ticket, everything looked good, I'm going to come down here and hit review order, and it's just going to give me a confirmation screen. So right here, it's going to confirm exactly what we put on the previous screen, just making sure everything looks right. And if it does, we're just going to come down and select place order. Now, as soon as I do that, the order has been placed, and if I wanted to check on the status of that order, I could come down here to the account details section and select order status. Now, right there at the very top, we can see my current bracket order on SoFi. So right there, you can see my profit target is 12 bucks and my stop target is seven bucks. And then if I needed to edit that in some way, we could always come over here to the word bracket and go ahead and right click on that. 
Just like before, a little menu is going to come up and we can come to the very top of that menu and select edit bracket. From there, we could actually edit the order ticket if we needed to. So let's say I actually change my mind on my profit target. I only want to sell this share of SoFi if it goes up to 15 bucks a share. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight that, type in 15, and I'm going to say I'm okay with the current stop target. We'll leave it at seven bucks. And I'm just going to go ahead and hit review order and actually place the order to edit what I just had before. Looking down below in the order status screen, you can see that it has been edited. My new profit target is 15 bucks. My stop loss target is still seven bucks. Now, if you change your mind entirely and you want to just outright cancel this bracket order, what we have to do is cancel them one at a time. So the first one I'm going to cancel is my profit target simply by coming over here to the order ticket, right clicking on it, and then saying remove profit exit right here. You'll then see a little window asking if we confirm that we actually did want to cancel this order. I'll go ahead and hit remove order down here. And now that the profit taking order has been removed, we just need to do it again to the stop target as well. So looking right here, I can see my stop target. I'm going to go ahead and right click on that. I'm going to come up here to remove stop loss exit just like before, and then just confirm that I do in fact want to remove this order. And that's it. My stop and my limit have been canceled. The bracket order is no longer working. But again, placing a bracket order on a position you already hold in the account is very easy. You simply need to come down to the positions tab and see what we're currently holding. From there, just find and right click on the position you want to create the bracket order on. So in this case, SoFi, we're going to right click on it, add brackets to SoFi. From there, we get that little menu just like before. We're going to specify how many shares, in this case one, and then select the profit exit and stop loss exit. Now, before moving on to doing this on a position we haven't even bought yet, let's explain the difference between the points, the percentages, and the price box over here on the right hand side. So remember, in the previous example, I showed you that the price means we've got a specific profit target in mind. We're saying if it ever hits this level, get me out of it. If it ever hits 12 bucks, sell it. If it ever hits 13 bucks, sell it. That is a specific price target. Now, if we didn't have necessarily a specific price target in mind, we said if it ever went up two points from its current value, or if it ever went up five points or 5%, that's what these boxes would be for, the points box and the percentage box. So let's say we wanted to sell this SoFi position if it ever went up $2 from its current price. We would click on the word points here, and then we would simply type in the number two over here in this box. So now you can see two points off the current price, or if we look up here, two points off the current bid would be $12.07. That's where our limit order would go in at. Now, if we came up here to the top, we could actually specify, I don't want it to be two points off the current price or the bid price. I want it to be two points off the price that I bought it for, which would be my average cost of 908. Now you can see two points above the price that I bought it for would be $11.08. But that's what this box is for up here at the top, this white section. It's asking you what price do you want to base this off of? The price you bought it for, the current bid, the current ask, or the last traded price. That's what this is for. Now, for me personally, I would probably just leave it as the default, the bid price, because you're saying, hey, sell it at two points above whatever it's currently trading for, or 5% above whatever it is that you're setting. So let's say, for example, you wanted your stop loss target to be 5% below the current bid price. We're going to come over here to where it says points. We're going to change that to percentage. I'm now going to come over here to the stop loss exit target, and I'm going to type in five here for 5%. And looking over here on the right hand side, you can see 5% the current bid price is $9.55. So if I were to hit review order right now, my limit order will go in at $12.04 and my stop target will go in at $9.54. So hopefully that explains the difference between this top box and then the points versus the percentage targets down here below. If you have any other questions, you can always leave it in the comments and I'm, I'm happy to answer it further. Now, moving on from this, let's go ahead and delete this out of here. The next thing I wanted to go over is how you would place a bracket order on a position you haven't even bought yet. Now, of course, there are a few different ways to do that, but in our example today, we're going to be using this one uh, trade button up here in the upper left-hand corner. Now, in my case, I already have a position on SoFi, so let's flip this over to, let's say, Bank of America. B-A-C, we'll hit enter on the keyboard here. Now, right here below is my all-in-one trade ticket, and the very first thing I need to do is actually specify my opening order. So we're just going to go through this building out an opening order ticket. I'm going to specify that I want to buy. I only want to buy one share of Bank of America. Let's say I wanted to use a limit order and I only wanted to buy that one share of Bank of America if it dropped down to 40 bucks a share. Now that I've got the opening order ticket specified, I'm saying I only want to buy one share of Bank of America. The next thing I'm going to do is actually place my bracket orders right behind it. Now in order to do that, we're going to find the brackets button and go ahead and select that. From there, a window is going to open up that looks just like the previous example. We've got our profit target and then either a trailing stop or a stop loss target. 
So just like before, the first one we're gonna set is our profit exit. So we're gonna go ahead and check mark that. And you can see I've already got a price selected and at the moment $50 automatically pops up in there. In my case, let's say whenever I buy this one share of Bank of America at 40, I wanted to then try and sell it for let's say 45 bucks. Now finally, the next one I'm gonna do is my stop loss target. And I'm gonna go ahead and change this from, at the moment it says 20%, which would be $32 off of 40 bucks. I'm actually gonna set it as a 10% stop loss. I'm gonna go ahead and type in the number 10 here, and I've already got percentage selected. And looking just the right, you can see 10% off my opening price, 10% off of 40 bucks would be $36 a share. So if I were to actually place this trade, what I'm essentially saying is, I wanna buy one share of Bank of America if it ever drops down to 40 bucks a share. Now, if that order ever fills, I'm actually able to buy that one share of Bank of America for 40 bucks. I then wanna try and sell it if it ever hits 45, or get stopped out if it ever drops 10% below that. In this case, that would be $36 a share. So again, if we actually wanted to place that, we would simply come up here to review order. We would then get a little confirmation screen just confirming everything we already filled out on the previous screen. If we actually wanted to place this, we would simply come down here to place order, and then our order ticket has been submitted. Just like before, if we came down to my account details section and selected order status, we would actually see that open and working first triggers OCO order. And that's what this is. The first opening trade is gonna trigger that bracket order to go out there. Now, just like in the previous examples, if you changed your mind, if you needed to edit this or cancel it in some way, you could simply right click on the order ticket. From there, you have the ability to change the overall order ticket or just outright cancel the order. In my case, I don't actually wanna place this trade, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit cancel order here. It's then gonna just confirm that I do in fact wanna cancel the order and I will hit cancel order one more time. But as you can see, creating a bracket order in this platform is pretty straightforward. So let's do it one more time. I'm gonna come up here to Bank of America. We'll go ahead and type in TWTR for Twitter. We'll go ahead and hit enter on the keyboard. Just like before, I do have to build out my opening order ticket. So how many shares of Twitter do I wanna buy? In this case, I'm saying 100 shares. Over here, I could change the order type. I can change the limit price that I'm buying for and the time in force. So let's say I only wanted to buy this share of Twitter if it dropped down to 35 bucks. And then coming down here to my bracket orders, I have already got a profit exit and stop loss exit selected. Let's say I wanted to put in, instead of a price target, a points target, and I said, whatever I fill at, I wanna sell it for five points above that. In this case, you can see that if my opening trade fills at $35 exactly, my profit exit would be at $40. Obviously, that's five points above the price that I filled at. So 35 plus five, 40 bucks a share. Then right below that, you can see my stop loss exit currently is 10%, what we previously set for Bank of America. If I instead wanted to get stopped out at a specific point target, let's say I wanted to stop out if it ever dropped two points because I didn't want to lose more than 200 bucks, we can see there that two points below the opening price, the $35 a share that I'm trying to buy it for, would be $33 a share. Once we're happy with it, we would simply hit review order and then place the order if we were happy with it. But that is everything you guys need to know to place bracket orders yourself on the Street Smart Edge trading platform. If I miss anything or you guys have any additional questions for me, please leave them down below. And also be sure to check out my other tutorial videos if you're wanting to learn more about the platform. But that wraps things up for today's video. I hope you guys all have an amazing rest of your week and I'll catch you on the next video.